A well, new report out by the American Action Forum report shows just how bad health care costs are going to rise under Obamacare. So they say on average a healthy 30-year-old male non-smoker will see his lowest cost insurance option increase by, get this, 260 percent. So do young Americans, the ones who are funding Obamacare, actually want to be part of the program. Let's bring in Catherine Tim from CampusReform.org and Ron Meyer, a Republican congressional candidate from the Commonwealth of Virginia. Welcome to you both. Thanks for having um, me. So, Catherine, it, this system doesn't work unless young people who really don't have many health care costs are forced to pay for the older and the sicker among us. Right. And at Campus Reform, we're always talking to young people reporting on waste, fraud, abuse on college campuses. And a lot of young people are offended by that because the unemployment rate for young people is so high. Obama's admitting that he's counting on them to pay for it and then using celebrity campaigns to try to distract and a lot of young people are saying you know what it's going to take more than tweeting at Lady Gaga from the White House account to get us to fall for this. <laughs> yeah and uh, as you mentioned Catherine the, the Obama administration is using taxpayer dollars mm -hmm. to promote Obamacare and make it seem like these young people need it but Ron why don't they need it? Well I think the problem is it's not affordable for young people as you mentioned for a healthy 30 year old on average it's going to go up 200 percent the cost of the premiums and yes for people under 26, you might be able to stay on your parents' plan, but guess what? It's going to cost your parents something. And a lot of people don't have parents who can afford to add it. And this mm -hmm. bill is supposed to help those folks who are making $25,000 or $30,000 in retail. And that's the people it hurts the most. And so what I think we need to do is actually delay this mandate. We, I mean, we can't expect to put one of the nation's most broad laws, the big, one of the biggest laws in recent memory, put on the backs of young people. We have the highest structural youth unemployment since the Great Depression, and I think it's the wrong time to put this law on the backs of young people. So y you always read these polls, young people say, well, we don't want government in our business. Here's government getting right into your right. business, right exactly. in the center of it. Are they noticing this? Do you think this is going to affect voting patterns among people under 30? Uh, we're hearing from a lot of students that it is going to, and I mean, this is really dependent upon young people. They need almost four billion young people to enroll to make this work. So regardless of what Congress is doing, regardless of what anyone's doing, really young people have the power to stop this. If they don't, if they decide to opt out, if they don't sign up, then the law's not gonna work. Huh. So a lot of young people are feeling empowered by this. Right, it may not be well, viable. Uh, so Ron, I mean, what's the deal? Would it be better just to end up paying the fine instead? Well, you have to remember, the fine's not just $95. It's $95 or 2% of your income, whichever is higher. So a lot of times it's higher than $95. We're talking 200 to $600 for a lot of folks who are in this range that we're talking about. And that's a lot of money. And that's why we have to delay the mandate. And that's why what's happening now in Washington is so important and why Republicans need to be fighting for these vulnerable young people who are suffering and will go bankrupt because of this law. They can't afford to pay the fine. They can't afford insurance. If you look at it, more than 3 million young people will have to pay $1,000 more than they normally would because of these Obamacare exchanges. If they were to buy into the exchanges, which, as you were talking about earlier, aren't working anyway, they're going to have to pay a thousand dollars and where if you're you know you're working at burger king you're working at a retail shop that doesn't provide you health insurance how are you supposed to come up with a thousand dollars and and those i mean as you just pointed out the fines are still lower than the than the cost right correct so those fines are going up i mean let's mm -hmm. be honest they I will mean, mm -hmm. right they will yeah. of course they will thank you both very much thank you Ron, Catherine, we appreciate it yeah